Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Undressed with Paul and Patrick. I'm Paul, everybody knows, and Patrick, and a little Snow White 90210, who's a little poop. Snow White, say hi. Oh my God, hey, hello, everyone. Because I can't say hey, because if I say hey, you're going to get mad at me. Oh so God, I'll I say hello, you. everyone. <laughs> Uh, welcome. I These are people. Hey, bitches. That's I'm excited. Right. I'm going to introduce another guest today. Our guest, um, you guys probably know him from. Everybody knows him. Uh, really? Yeah, I guess, right? Yeah, I mean, well, every, okay. every porn movie you could think of, he's been in. He's not in the porn. Okay, <laughs> Shameless. We remember him from Shameless, but I remember him from Dynasty on CW. He did that with Michael. Oh, my God. Our friend Michael. Yes. Anyway, let's just introduce. Pej Badat! Pej in the hi, house! In the Poletu Beverly Hills Boutique. Am I saying your name right? You're saying it perfect. Pej Badat. Perfect. Vadat. Yes. I love Vadat. That. How, did, how did your parents name you Pej? Yeah, what well, does that really good mean? good question. I think it means number one or like the best. God, they failed at that. They did. Oh, Jesus. I thought it was after like a Pez dispenser or something. That's Pez. <laughs> <laughs> That's so original. You see? That's did you, did you hear that? The did the time? people yeah. tell? Oh. I figured. Typical. I figured. Of oh course you God. would, the white boy. Oh. Uh, us two foreigners over here coming into the Taking country. Taking advantage of us. I'm in Middle Seriously, Eastern land. Do you see what I have to deal with every single day, Pez? <laughs> are you Persian? I am. You are. And you were born. Where are you from? I was born in Iran. You were. Well, if he's Tehran. Persian, he's born in Iran. I was born in Iran. Wow. I was three months old when we moved. That's so. like you, babe. Yeah. He was born in Kuwait. I wasn't three months old, though. No, but you I were was born in Kuwait. Yeah. I was. How old were you? No. I was six. Six years old? Six years old when I first moved to America, but it wasn't my choice. They just carried me over here. Well, I mean, I, I was three months old, so that <laughs> so wasn't my choice. Did you know the difference? No. But three months old, leaving Iran, then were you like, the, your family like fled the country because yeah. of the war and everything yes. going on? Yeah, the revolution. So you came with no money? God, Pesh, that must have been rough. I wouldn't say no money. I think my parents had some, my dad's a physician. Oh. He's an ophthalmologist, so okay. he did well. Um, and they just, but they took everything they had and that was it. Right. They took off. That's got to be hard so right hard to yeah. leave a they they did an incredible job so and is it just you are you the only me child? and i have two older siblings a brother and a sister oh yeah. you do yeah. are they in the industry no god no <laughs> no they're all no, doctors they're, well no no my <laughs> sister no? is in the tech world and oh. my brother is an artist okay mm -hmm. artist that's yeah. that means he doesn't have a job yes he's very creative. <laughs> no he's, he's quite successful he doesn't yeah. have a job i <laughs> know i'm on strike he's oh. not even working are you typically you are on strike right i am on strike so we were just talking about he's this been doing photo ops in front of fox no, why do you think i'm Sony? on jeff oh my god that's <laughs> oh my hilarious god. you know that's good money are you going out and that's doing like money. striking standing in yes, front holding course. a picket line of course of course he has to does it count that we drive by and honk the horn? Yeah. Yes, okay, of course good. it support does. Support is support. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Good. I mean, we can't get out. We have a lot no, of fans <laughs> outside. Yeah, it's so exhausting. <laughs> we have so many <laughs> fans <laughs> everywhere that are no. like, oh my God. <laughs> they would have just pushed Margot it. Robbie out of the yeah, way yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like all the, you know. I, the thing about the, the SAG strike, which I think is great, and I think that they do need to do that because we were talking about like when we get residual checks, they're like 12 cents, and it's like it's ridiculous. a fucking joke. That's right. <laughs> and there are people who are trying to make a living <laughs> right not everyone's a movie star right and they l they need those residuals to make a living for their family well sure. the stamp costs more than the <laughs> check the ink must have what's cost the lowest residual started. check you've received oh less than a penny uh. it literally says under a penny <laughs> how is it under a penny how do you I, calculate I don't know. How, how do, do you they, cash? they that? do that with like multiple like right ch pennies yeah and then, yeah, I cash all of them. Absolutely. Wow. But I have, I have direct deposit with it. You can do that, actors, so you can save <laughs> stamps. <laughs> so how did you get started in the business? Yeah, how did you even Tell come us. to you? You come from Tehran. You're a bundle of this beautiful How do you know he's from Tehran? He said Iran. But Tehran. good guess. Is it from he's, Tehran? He's yeah. right. You're like a little bundle of joy. He's our number <laughs> one. Yeah. He's the best out of the, the you know, What the age were you when you kids. started acting? I was uh, 20 years old. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was like, I was an athlete. I played college tennis. Okay. And um, but I always wanted to be an actor, and I just never thought it was possible because I never saw anyone who looked like me. Really. So yeah. I was like, this isn't gonna happen, and I wanted to retire my parents, and I was 
a really good athlete, and I thought that was how I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking he should have stayed with the athlete because this <laughs> hasn't worked out either. <laughs> Shit. Who, for me? You. Yes. Yes. Why? Because you said you get one cent checks. Yes. Under one cent. Pass. Oh, my God. I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. Hell? I've done. I'm very lucky. I was able to retire my his, parents. <laughs> I, did, I did see his, his new tuck last time. Oh. <laughs> Go see what I got my dad. Okay. So, yeah. Wait, oh, what'd you get your shit. dad? I got my dad a Lexus. Oh, nice. nice. See, that's nice. a good son. Yeah. That, yeah. Creative, that creative son of his, he hasn't sh done shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good son. He's a really good son. We well, met your mom. Your mom was oh, lovely. Mom. Yeah, that's cool. She was fun. I love her. Yeah, she was awesome. But how do you get started at 20? Like yeah. So, okay, so I was that's in college. Late. That's late yeah, to start that's acting. Late. I was in college. I was on scholarship. And okay. Then, um, I wasn't happy. I hated tennis. Oh. And, um, okay. But you were good. I was very good. Okay. And then uh, one day, a friend of mine who knew I wanted to be an actor dared me my junior year in college to take an acting class. Okay. Oh. And I was so scared. And I said, you know what? Let's go. Because in it. high school, and you and never wait, even did theater. No, and no. where were you living at this time? San Diego. San Diego. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then we go, I go to class and I was obsessed. I fell in love. I was so happy. And I went back to the tennis court and I quit. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I called my dad as a dad. I'm off scholarship. <laughs> I can't. Oh and did your parents like, why? I said, because I want to be an actor. And, and did they like, want to kill you? They were like, you know, they're yeah, like, <laughs> we've got one creative son who's not going to do anything. We want to do no, our hopes actually, for you. you know, to be honest with you, he was really supportive. Really? Wow. Yeah. He That's just good. was like, get a real degree. You're not getting a theater degree. Yeah. So I got a minor in theater and then I moved to L.A. And I busted Wait, my ass. Where were you living? San Diego. He said San Diego. Oh, LA. San I mean, Diego. Oh, got uh, it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, San Diego's like LA. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, just, it's not like really. not really. You could drive so your much better than LA. <laughs> San Diego's nice. I love San Diego. Yeah, San yeah. Diego's yeah. great. Yeah. We have nieces that live there. Oh, yeah. really? Where? Yeah, yeah. In San Diego. <laughs> where? Oh. <laughs> She's right by the beach. My, La Jolla? My niece and. Yeah. No. I have clients in San, Like San Diego, actually. I'm sure you have What's the beach that they got married on? That's where. Pacific Beach? Encinitas? No, it's like a. No, it wasn't a oh. Mexican beach. No, it's a uh, it no, it's in San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ensenada. Sorry, no. Is it Broad Beach? Is there a Broad Beach? No. Um, I don't know. They have a country club there. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about. Oh, oh man, Forget I'm blanking the on the it. name. I know what you're talking yeah, about. But, but that beach, Del Coronado. Yeah. Yes. That's where the Maybe. resort is. I think yeah. Coronado they're right Island. There. Yeah, they're on yes. that area. That's beautiful. And they love it. Imperial Beach. Imperial. That's close. Maybe I think that's so. You know, yeah. It's very Pacific, Pacific Beach, yeah. It's there. It's yeah. in nice. the, on the water. Beautiful. They live there now. Yeah. 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 Husband yeah. and wife, they're doctors. They're really yeah. doing really well. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, boring. if you live there, then you're doing really well. Yeah, yeah it's kind of boring. Super expensive. Well, <laughs> well everything in California is expensive. I put gas in the car. Yes, you drive a Tesla. You're like, so that's electric, right? You know what's fucking lucky? I was like, oh, I'm so happy I'm not paying these gas prices. $6.86 a gallon yesterday. Crazy. Our Rolls Royce is still parked. I won't. I refuse to take it <laughs> really? out until the <laughs> gallons go down. Yeah, we have a rental. I took because the Mercedes of that? in. No, I took the Mercedes in to get fixed. Uh -huh. Yeah. So then they gave me a rental. He's like, I'm not driving this. He's not driving the other car. He's on the third rental in three days. <laughs> I don't like Every it. day he like switched out Oh, because you can't yell at the car to turn on the lights? No. No, because they gave me first, get this. Cars he doesn't relate to. A Jeep Cherokee. I love a Jeep. Oh I God, love a Jeep. horrible! I had a Jeep. I hated I it. Jeep. Oh I'm not my into cars. God, me neither. Then they switched it for a Camry. <laughs> but it was such a good car. <laughs> I love. I don't care. Yeah, look. Like, get right? me, get me there get safely. Get me to the destination. I, I was like, my I housekeeper cannot drive a nicer car than me. I actually regret <laughs> getting the Tesla. Really? It just feels really douchey. I don't like Tesla, yeah. but we. Ordered I told him we should EQ. get one, but he ordered the EQ instead. Is it? That's electric. Yeah, Mercedes. Yeah, all electric yeah. Mercedes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. Carney has one. She you loves can still it. Yeah, I know. I saw it. You can yeah. still tell the bitch to do things for you. <laughs> yeah, I get okay. in. Just I want to go get a get rid of that and get an old Bronco. Bronco, yes. really? Yeah. Oh my god! Can I tell you what we did with the electric what? car? What? Since <laughs> we didn't know how to do <laughs> electric scenario, what? you know how we have palm trees in front of our boutique? Yeah. God. Well. You know, we have plugs everywhere yeah. in Beverly Hills. I couldn't reach it all the way inside the store, and it was about to die, and I don't know where a charger place is. So I plugged it into the tree. So the... the For the music, because it plays the music in Beverly Hills yeah. and all the trees. The police comes over, and I go, oh, I'm just charging my car. <laughs> they put a lockbox on it, so he can't charge they the car a there anymore. Box on all the electric <laughs> things. It's actually not a bad idea. I'm like, where am I supposed to charge my fucking car? He goes, there's... 
departures, my There's, friend. Yeah, because first, your car did. should tell you where to go. She did. She did. But she, it's like a did. block down yeah, the street. Yeah, but he's like, I don't want to go there. I'm going to park it while it's in front. So he parked it there. But you know how slow they charge? I know. I didn't care. I just needed to get up the street to the dealer. <laughs> oh, my God. It's pretty funny. They put a lockbox on it, and then the next day, he went across the street and plugged and it I in. Plugged it across now the they, street. So then they put lockboxes on all the outlets of the street. Does your car need a charge? We can plug it in. I would love to. Yeah, we can plug I'll, it I'll in outside on the tree. Yeah. Oh, my. What color is your Tesla? White. White? Here's why would you get Here's a white why. Tesla? Hold on. Yeah, who does because that? Because yeah. I'm going to wrap it matte black. Oh. Okay. Okay, but, Megan. But, okay. Megan That's a Megan that? Weaver thing. Yeah. She wraps she, it? No, she wraps her car. Yeah, she oh, loves love it. It looks yeah. so cool, like like Batmobile. That'd be kind of cool. We, uh, Matt, that would be that would be kind of cool. Yeah. You that's why I got like white, that. but I heard but I didn't need to do that. It could have been any color. I just thought it would be You can just order it. But you don't even have tinted windows. How do you drive around? I don't care. Oh, oh we my do. God! Oh. I mean, we do. Okay. But you know who really does. It, Thank you. So back to how you got started. Oh you yeah. Because okay. we totally cut you off, yes. Paul. I yes. can't help it. That was a great story <laughs> though. When I plugged <laughs> it in, she looked at me and she goes, "That's very smart." Yeah. I said, "I don't have an extension cord. I can't run it into the store." Yeah. So smart. I know. I would never think of that. No, me neither. Only in <laughs> Armenia. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. So you, you tell your dad you're quitting. You're yes. So okay. he said, I'll give you one year. Okay. I'm like, that's all I need. Oh, wow. He saw that I was obsessed. Yep. And within a year I got my first job. Doing uh, what? I got a, sh a job on a show called Sleeper Cell on Showtime. I remember that show. Yeah. Wait, what so did you do on that show? I just show? had one episode. Oh, cause I remember the show. I okay. got into the union, okay. but it was enough to show my dad, like he's really going for this. Like you he do loves something it. with it. Yeah. So, you know, I got a couple more bit roles and then, um, I got a show called Bone. Oh, I can't say that yet. Bones. Whatever. Go ahead. I got a show that. With David Borneas. Yeah, that changed <laughs> my life and retired my parents. Do you remember David Borneas, the one we sat with at. We were sitting he was on at the Angel. What? He was the guy from Angel, Buffy. Yeah, yeah. We were sitting oh. at the table with all the people. Oh, Katarina Grant's on that. That's my son. No, no. she's on. No, Vampire she's on Diaries. Vampire Diaries. How do you confuse that with Buffy the Vampire Slayer? We're vampire. It's all vampire. -ish. I don't know. Oh my god. I don't watch. You know what the crazier thing is? As many celebrities as walked through my door for all these years, right? He doesn't remember them. I don't remember <laughs> the shows that they're on. How could you? You're never watching TV. I I, I only you're always watch the working. Shows that I'm on. <laughs> yeah. Working. I'm in my sweatshop. Yeah. I'm, I'm in my sweatshop. So Bones. How long were you on Bones for? Eight years. Really? Yes. I love that and show. And what was your character? Who did you? I played uh, like um, a detective or something. Doctor, or? like yeah, a okay. scientific doctor, who's also like the love interest with one of the leads. And okay. Like this whole love well, your dad should be proud of that. He's a doctor. Oh, You're my a dad scientific is doctor. He's That's cool. So obsessed. I had a really small role on General Hospital as a doctor, and my dad was. Oh so my God, happy. Carolyn Hennessy. Carolyn Hennessy. My best friend's on there too. I don't know anyone on that show. She, she played the. She's attorney. the district deputy just attorney. Years ago. attorney. I don't know, remember. She's that. been on it like she, 20 years. It, if it forever. wasn't for her, like they don't, General Hospital would be canceled. They oh get God, on a I soap and they don't leave. It's crazy. She slept Listen, with everybody on the set. You must have slept with her. She hasn't no. slept with anybody <laughs> on the <laughs> set. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, she's the district attorney. Oh my that's God. why. Okay, I'm, yeah, whatever. She's the prosecuting attorney. I oh, think. whatever. Or no, she's defense attorney. I don't know. What's she's the difference? She's an attorney. She's an attorney. She's an employed actor. That's exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Oh, she has big checks. Okay, so then Bones, which we can't say, but we just did. Then it was next. Uh, Shameless? Shameless. And then... Okay. Gabrielle Walsh is coming on the show. Yeah. We know everybody on the show. Gabrielle was on After Him. Oh. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, Gabrielle Walsh. He's not a very good actor on set. He doesn't know any of the people he, he's she was acting on with. the show after, after him. Oh. How many seasons were you on Chamber? Two. Okay. Yeah. And then who was your character on that? I played Cash. I was actually a closeted homosexual who was oh, having an affair with a younger boy. Oh. Really? Yeah. Did you sleep with the redheaded guy? Yes, that so was me. You did? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna want to go back now, but I have to <laughs> see. Did you get naked? Wait, no, are you talking no. about what's his name? Yeah, Cameron. Bill. No, no, Cameron. The gay guy. Oh, the son. Oh my the god, son. yes. The military, not the military yes, one. Yes, the, the military one. Above. one. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. After yeah. I forget what the one that was name. Jesus for a minute. Well, I didn't watch it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. He's like me. He doesn't even watch the show. Oh my god! He only okay. watches the part season. Yeah, and then that. Shameless. After Shameless came. Shameless came. I'm still doing Bones, and then I. Are you still doing Bones? Yeah, they let me do both. That's really? Very nice people. 
back how long are you on book like it's just continuing. i did two years of shameless then i went to do a show in new york at the lincoln center and then Kay. i came back to bone like theater theater you like theater love really love. it's real isn't it's it it's my favorite i love really? watching yeah like an authentic play unfold yeah. a storyline so in front of me with their passion right and it's the heavy. dedication yeah. of the commitment yeah. of the real true yeah. art yeah. i it's, agree it's something yeah. Even Snow White. Every time we're on Broadway, I swear <laughs> to God, I can see shows all day and night and never even think I have to eat. I, lo <laughs> I love it. I, lo I love theater. Yeah. Um, if it paid more, it would be lovely. But sure. It doesn't, but it's still where I end up all the time. Of course. Yeah. That's you where you got your stars when you said, I quit yes. tennis. Yes. Well, yes. What was the very first theater job you booked? I you did know? a Merchant of Venice. Oh, yeah. Merchant okay. of Venice. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Then I'm going to have to catch up on uh, the oh Pesca Dodge, oh, you know. <laughs> I've been very lucky. <laughs> Inventory. Been very, very uh, lucky. And then you were on Dynasty for how long? <sighs> I did Dynasty for a season last year, and then I did City on a Hill with Kevin Bacon at the same time. Okay. And then I Oh, did we've seen Kevin Bacon naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Who hasn't? I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And then right now I'm doing uh, The Old Man with Jeff Bridges. Oh, oh, he's such FX. a cool guy. We haven't guy. seen that. That's a series, right? Yes. On he's Apple? He's such Apple? a cool guy. FX. Okay. He's okay. such a nice he's the guy. Best. Yeah, he was yeah. very cool. Like, he's such a chill guy. He's the best. Such a mm. chill guy. Yeah. So. so, Dynasty, you played Dex. Dex Dexter. Now, do you with remember? Elaine Hendricks. And you worked with... We had the Mary. Didn't you we work did with Nicolette Sheridan or no? No. Who did you work with? Who was... Oh, sorry. I shouldn't say that. Oh. No, Elaine Hendricks, who is an angel on earth. Yeah. She took over? She took over. She took over the role from Nicolette. Yes, yes. Ever seen uh, um, Parent Trap? She was the one yeah. with the young guy, the gardener that she was like having an affair with. That was me. But I that was, was you. You were the gardener that she was. No, no, no. I was no. the rich billionaire who came and married. Dex, right? This yes. is like, yeah. uh, the same as the. It, 80s. He rebooted exactly. the character yes, that yes, was with yes. Alexis yes. in the original Dynasty. Yes. Joan Collins. Yes. yes. Which yes. can I tell you? She's awesome. Like, I have bet. you ever met, have you met her? No. Oh, oh yeah. my God. She. You know, her presence awesome. is very. Um, I have to say that knowing Anna Nicole for as many years as we did, when she walked into the room, she commanded an audience. Mm -hmm. And even if you didn't know her, like mm -hmm. her, or even know anything about her. Yep. And even if you didn't know that she walked into the room, mm -hmm. you would feel her mm -hmm. energy. Joan Collins has that same old world savoir faire where. She's in the room. She doesn't she have has to a say presence. A like you feel like the fucking queen yeah. just walked in the room. Yeah. It's crazy. And she's, and yeah. And she's so petite. Yeah, she's, she's so tiny. Delicate, tiny. But she has a presence. She loves my gown. I bet. Yeah. yeah I, I met her years gown. ago yeah, at the California does. March when she came into my wow. showroom. Yeah, she's a beautiful woman. That's awesome. Yeah, we she's just saw legend. her with uh, oh, Jeff. When we, oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah. You know, John James. Yeah, John. And Jeff, too. From the, They did the Carringtons. Uh, they did the, the Carringtons uh, cabaret Jeff show. Jeff Colby, who's, who's yeah, on the original lines. dynasty. <laughs> Jeff all Colby. the original dynasty people all got together. And oh, did a, really? Did a, a show. Yeah. Oh, really cool. Yeah, for and years. So they invited us. It was nice. We had yeah, so we got to see them. And uh, Joan was there to support. So it was really good. We met there. John James, who's on Jeff, Jeff Colby, the original on Dynasty. Um, with Anna Nicole in the Bahamas oh when God, Anna was yeah, alive. Yeah, we doing a movie together. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And so they came there. Yeah, that we're was kind friends of fun. with the family, the kids, yeah. the boy, the girl. Yeah, yeah. It was That's really, really cool. Pretty, people. pretty amazing. What show do you miss? That, like, what show would you want to do? If you could pick your pick any <laughs> show to be a series regular on, what would it be? I'm on it. Gown and Out in Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> Undressed with Paul and Patrick. You mean of all time? Of all time. Oh, Breaking Bad. What that's a my great show, show, right? Yeah, it's over, but that's know, my favorite show. Great show. He's my favorite actor. You like the edgy Brian stuff. Brian Cranston. He's yeah. amazing. I, I got the pleasure of working with him on a show called Sneaky Pete. Oh, I remember oh, Sneaky Pete. What did you do on Sneaky, Sneaky Pete? Pete? I remember that show? British billionaire guy who came in and played poker. You remember? Wait, that? speak British. Oh, no, you have a British no, accent. I'm not doing that. Yes, yeah, speak Was British. It? <laughs> well, you don't know. Yeah, how to have a British accent for the move for the show, right? Oh my God. What did you say? Oh my God! I was it I something? Like was that. it something clever? Oh my no. God! But yes, that I worked with him. I'm rich, He's can't you tell? <laughs> Basically, that's ah! what he was doing. <laughs> Basically, hilarious. Yeah, good show. How fun is that? I know. I did so many. You things loved that show. I did. I sneaky peed. I just yep. came and you didn't pay attention. 
Mm. Well, when you come, I will pay attention. I can, <laughs> I, I can, I can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> if and when you do, I will absolutely pay oh my God. huge <laughs> attention. Oh my God. You just, he's like red. You just, he's like blushing right now. <laughs> Are you? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy, right? It's, yeah. the, it's, it's what a totally small crazy. World. Hmm. Yeah. What? what a small world that you're from Iran, mm -hmm. you came to America when you're three months old, you didn't even know that you wanted to do something and had a passion for it mm -hmm. and didn't even know what it was. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, you have this opportunity, right. presents itself on a dare. I in have you been back you to are. Iran to visit? Uh -uh. No. So apparently once I did Shameless, yep. I was on a list that was like. Oh, like the. You can because, because I played a gay. Yeah, because you get a gay character, right? Yeah. That's why they don't want you in Iran? Because when I was on Bones, I was like, my cousins would say, come here, everyone loves you. Yeah. Big star, blah, blah, blah. Yep. And then when Shameless came out, he's like, do not come here. Wow. Because they know you're Persian. Well, I'm Iranian, and I'm and from there, and right. I'm playing a homosexual, and, you know, they're backwards over there. The yeah. government is backwards, so they don't, you know, accept homosexuality as real, so... Right. You know, that's anywhere. Like when we were in Dubai, it's we were crazy. the first gay couple to be on the cover of a so, magazine so in Dubai. Crazy. And it's and it's illegal to be gay. You know? But you're but you're an actor. You're playing a part. You're they don't playing care. a role. They don't care. Yeah, they don't care. They don't care. So they put you on a list. Well, yeah. I never knew that. I thought you were on a list because they would like <laughs> take you into the military or something. That was that's Not also something as well. Absolutely. Really? That's another reason. I mean, I can't now, but like in my youth. Beforehand, I wouldn't go because of that. Yeah. So what show do you have to be on to be able to impress them at this point? No, they're to be out. Able to be welcomed they're they're anyway? out until they're, God willing, die mm. and get the fuck out of there because they're monsters. But um, Yeah. That's awful. To free the people because I want to go back really bad. Sure. I well, see you it. would have such a big voice. Oh, yeah. Especially right. after what I saw happen to that girl. Yeah. Oh. And I mean, I, me. I, you, I still see it around yeah. how people are promoting oh, just it. Oh, just today. The 16 year old girl has been beaten to a coma. It's so awful. Yeah. Because yeah. she doesn't want to wear the hijab. Because she didn't wear a hijab. Yeah. yeah. And it's you terrible. know, I have clients that are from Saudi. Yeah. That come here all the time. And the they, Saudi princesses, you they do. They love oh. my gowns, yeah. obviously. And they request me to do the fitting. Yeah. They want me to f do the final looks with them to make sure that it's exactly the way it's supposed to lay on the, the body, right? And I see them in all different sorts of scenarios, very respectful, obviously, but there are no other men allowed. You, you're not allowed. Right, like I one time, we had one of the Saudi princes come in. I didn't know. I went to give her a hug and I touched her and I thought I was gonna get shot. Crazy. Paul pulls me and goes, you cannot touch I like her. I was yeah. like, yeah, oh, whoops. I can because they approach me and they know. <laughs> but I didn't know that. Like, as the artist, they respect that. It's kind of weird. It's very backwards. Male, yeah. 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 That's really crazy, it's though. Not for I me. Look at look at how your life has become what it is now. Crazy. Do you think that'll ever change? In the in, in, Iran? in Iran? Yeah. Yes. You do. I do. Okay. I think Iran I think is pretty. As far as the Middle Eastern countries go, they're as liberal. Like the people want it. Over. Right. Sure. So that's the first step, right? So I think they're on the verge of a revolution, hopefully. Um, they need a little help. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have hope that that, that will happen. That would yeah. be, I, I would love to see that. Because it's yeah. one of the most beautiful countries in the world. And it should be seen. Like in the 70s when the Shah was you know, the leader of the country, right? Uh, Iran was one of the most sought after vacation spots in Europe. Because the beaches are beautiful, beautiful. right? From Can what I I've heard, my yeah. mom and dad yeah. Had an audience with the uh, with the Shahs. Oh my God! And she oh. actually has a skirt that he, she gifted my mom. Wow! That I have. Wow! It's a paisley pattern, and it used to be a very big deal at the time. It's not. It's not an expensive skirt, but it's, it was just like a gift wow. that they they gave to her. Wow! It's amazing, right? It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Very nice people, That's she amazing. said. They were just gracious. I mean, very gracious. I. I I, m I miss them. <laughs> Back to you, though. Yes. yes. Okay, please, more of them. What's the part that you want to play? Yeah. 
Oh. What's a role that you <coughs> said that you, you that let's say you auditioned for mm -hmm. that maybe you didn't get that you're like somebody else played and I'm sure they did a good job but you could you do it better. Been like, <laughs> damn it. Um. Well, I have that for okay. sure. Okay. Yep. It's a movie called Rosewater. Okay. Rosewater. Yeah, it was John Stewart's directorial debut as a film about an Iranian um, photo uh, a journalist who got arrested. Mm. Uh, and imprisoned because they thought he was a spy. Okay. The real story. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it was, my, I was the choice. But the producers wanted someone famous internationally. Right. And they chose Gail Bernal oh. Garcia, who's yeah. Mexican, to play an Iranian role. Oh, that's crazy. You know, I mean, he's l an amazing Yeah, actor, he is. But to play that. Yeah, of course. You know what? I you have that same problem. <laughs> For me, I, I'm against like this whole, you have to be the person. Right. You have to be this, that, and the other. You, we're all actors. Right. But that particular one is yeah. like you got to speak Farsi. You got to sure. You, it, the passion and the intensity. It's that different. Comes, that I wouldn't play a real you. life uh, Mexican, you know, yeah. historical person. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, like someone actually into carry a film with that storyline. Right. So for me, that was really hard to, to watch. Well, I can tell you what was hard for me. There was an audition that they wanted real working designer oh this is funny <laughs> sorry who can sketch <laughs> who know how to sew mm. who actually know how to fit and know the language and the art of fashion right so i audition i forced him to go in he's i'm not going to this why am i going to go into this i go just go just go you're a designer they're gonna book you mm -hmm. i play the part i <laughs> act the part yeah. i am the fucking you designer are, you are right. the part yeah he didn't get booked i didn't, didn't get, get booked. <laughs> Guess who got the job? <laughs> Somebody who has no art artistic right. skills, who has no idea about design, actually worked at a rent a car rent a car agency during the day, who auditioned for the part and got the oh part. Man. Who doesn't know how to sketch? I gave them such a beautiful art. But sketch. babe, they always they always call us in as a gay couple. Like they never want to call us in separately. They always call oh the I don't gay know why couple. They call me in as a gay person. And they they call us in as the gay it's couple. Me and then what we wind the hell, up, right? We wind up seeing what they book, and what they book for the role that we auditioned for. I would not sleep with that gay guy. It's like <laughs> I would not sleep with that gay guy. I mean, seriously. <laughs> like, we should be the audition. It's for like them. you can't be gay, fabulous. You have to be like short, fat, bald, I, I, bald mm. bad hair, bad teeth. I'm like gays don't look like that. <laughs> Hello, which gay? Where'd you pick up this gay from? Put it back in the ocean. It's a hard business. Oh, uh, my it God. It is. You know what the first criteria of being gay is? Hmm. You look at yourself in the mirror and you're hot. <laughs> you're like, yo. I can. Uh, you guys are right. <laughs> like, gay seriously. Men are gorgeous. Aren't they? But yes. they don't portray that's that why on they TV. Booked you. No, that's why they booked him as a gay person. Thank He's straight. I'll take they put all day. the straight men for the gay roles. Yeah. I which mean, I don't get. I think it's changing, though. You think yeah, so? They, they should Maybe. Let gay a little bit more. play gay roles. Yes. Like I agree. The, like the handicapped. Oh my God, they put a regular walking person in a handicapped <laughs> wheelchair. I'm like, how do you do oh that? There's wow. so many handicaps. Okay. <laughs> like seriously. So back to me. <laughs> shouldn't they like, shouldn't they get a chance? I'm, I think include, they, I think it's changing. Yeah. yeah. I think hopefully there's going to be more inclusion for everybody. I just think it's slow. What, what do you think slow about slow process? This <laughs> AI Oof. situation. That's why we're striking. It's scary, it's right? It's terrifying. It's what, very wait, scary. When did this happen about strike? I want to talk about Edge. Okay. He's the man. Don't ask me about AI. No. Oh, my God. Wouldn't okay. you want to be an AI of yourself? I would. That'd no. be kind of cool. I've done that. Oh, you have? Yeah, like video games are the same thing. Right. Like they put all those. Wouldn't that be fun, though? Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. It's cool. That but I don't cool. want them taking my job. Oh, that's true. Which is what AI Which would do. Which is what is happening. Wait, we were on another. Yes. Oh, what okay. part would you want oh, what to play? Oh, yeah. Part? Tell me. Um, Before I rudely I would <laughs> love my to play own James love story. Bond. <gasps> oh, oh my god! Oh yeah. Sean cool. Connery. I still have the hots for that man oh, sure. at any age. Oh my god, he was the epitome of what I wanted to marry. Mm. Uh, my favorite was um the last one. Uh, Daniel Craig. Daniel oh, Craig. Daniel Craig. Yeah, my oh. favorite. I Daniel wish Craig. Idris Alba was going to be the next one, but I don't think that's happening. When he came out of that water and I Daniel saw Craig. that package. Yeah. Oh, that I don't know. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. You know what I did, though, Pej? What'd you do? We were in Mexico, <laughs> and I have a picture of it. 
I don't go out in the sun, so I was Hilarious. under the umbrella. <laughs> you know, we had people and whatever. <laughs> I made him. I made him do it. I did the Daniel Craig thing. coming out of the water. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> I tossed my long hair. I did God, you really? He didn't even know I was doing it, and he yeah. was just walking out of the water. Yeah. And I was videotaping the whole thing. That was pretty hot. I was like, babe, look at my view. Look at my view. I fell in love with them all over. And I oh. thought to myself at that moment, I would fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> so humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you, gay, gay people look at themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I would too. See. <laughs> You're, You're hot. gorgeous. Do you know that when we were at that gay club, I told you, what did I say to you? What did you say? When we were at uh, the Abbey. Uh, don't no, get roofied. Uh, no. Well. Oh, the Abbey. Yeah, <laughs> don't get roofied. I said, <laughs> I said, be careful when you go to the bathroom by yourself. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know. I was like, what? What are you talking about? But then you would probably enjoy it because you'd be like, why not? <laughs> hey, I love a compliment. Why not? Yeah. I think that's great. I You're single. It. Oh, are I don't you know. I, I'm, I'm no, he's not. not single. You still have. You. Girlfriend, am, right? Yes, it's yes. the love of your life. Love Eventually, you're gonna, I'm gonna maybe figure that out. We'll see. It's hard. It's tricky. Maybe this will tell me. I'm I, sure it's I'm going to. We have a couple of more things to do before I, I get know. to this one for you. Should we do runway rundown? Runway hell? rundown is the good, the bad, the ugly, the what were you thinking? Why the fuck did you wear this? Or do you look great or not? So what we do is we pull a picture. I say it? We're both, all three of us. Oh, we're going to critique. Okay. Oh, okay, great. So we're going to get you in trouble, my friend. No, yes, please we don't. are. <laughs> oh, yeah. It may be you or other people you may know. Yes. You may or may not be in the photo. Wait, I just cut, critique their clothing? Uh huh. Oh, I okay. don't know. If you like it, don't like it. I could do that. Yeah, I don't you know. You could do that. Let's see. Well, look at the way you turned out. What do you mean? Well, look, you're at the couture salon. You come in a t shirt and a pair of jeans. Oh, okay. Shit, who does that? But now, if you get, would you get married? Well, hello, Mr. Mr. I want to be. Where's the jeans? You have a T-shirt. Hey. But it's bedazzled. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'll let you borrow it for dinner. But it, but it is oh bedazzled. <laughs> but can you imagine? I'll let you borrow it for dinner tonight. Uh, okay, okay, this one. But he wants to be. Yes. James Bond. James Bond, 007. That would be cool. Who would be your co-star? Like oh. the girl. Oh, yeah. Who would you pick to be like that James Bond girl that you would be like, oh, my God. Jessica Alba. Oh, she's hot. She's beautiful. Is she the one married to no. uh, Justin Timberlake? No. No. That's yeah. Jessica, Jessica Beale. You Jessica keep fucking Beale. that up. You even fucked it up on our show. Gowing Listen, out. It's Jessica. <laughs> she's great. It's like the vampire. I've had a crush on her since I'm like 14. Really? Yeah. You, have you met her? No. We have. I'm sure. <laughs> Jessica, call me. She's I'm married gonna, with kids. I'm going to hook you up with Pitch for a minute. She's now a billionaire. She's stunning. Yes, doesn't she is doesn't matter if she's a billionaire or not. She doesn't even need to act anymore. No. <laughs> she is gorgeous. I yeah, know. that would be my James Bond co-star. Oh. Yeah, but I'm, know, I'm sure they both. I did Octopussy. Maude Adams. Yeah. Oh, wow. He did her gown. He didn't do Octopussy. I was going to say, wait, he, what? Yeah, you didn't do Maud Adams. You did the gown for Maud Adams. There's a difference she when you're talking to a straight man. <laughs> she's the, she's the number one, number one yeah. James Bond girl. Really? She's ranked number one in Over all. Over Halle Berry? Every single one. Yeah. Mm. Maud Adams for Octopussy. There's some beauty that been on that movie. Her role on Octopussy, yeah. granted, when they did the 20th anniversary mm. of James Bond, they flew all the way back to India. Wow. To mm -hmm. be able to do it. I made the dress for wow. her premiere. Yeah, it's pretty yes. cool. That's incredible. She How come you don't do tuxedos and things? I he do. does. Oh, I, I got a He's long made my suits. I got a big tape measure. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He does. <laughs> he made, made our suits many times. But <laughs> she, when I did her, and I'd never met her before. When I got the opportunity to do it, she brought me fabric from India when they were taping their 20 years prior. Yeah. Wow. And she said, I never did anything with this. I want you to make me something that's reminiscent because I want to be able to present the whole, you know, I concept of when I was there and I got this fabric. Wow. And I made her dress That's pretty cool. uh, uh, for the premiere. That's really it cool. It was, and she was so stunning in person. Can imagine. That I was overwhelmed with emotion when she walked in. I was like, you know what, sometimes, because I'm telling you. She's so tall, right? She's very tall. She's gorgeous. Yeah. All these celebrities that walk into his door, and I, you see them on television, and they, you play roles. You act. Yeah. 
you're representing what the writers or what the context of the role is supposed to be. When I get to see them, they're undressed. They come in here and they're vulnerable. Yeah. They're humans. Mm. They're people. My husband has seen Betty White naked. Uh, I worked with Betty White. <laughs> you did? So it's Wait, like what did you do with Betty White? She was on Bones, and then she also she was, I did she a show with her that. called Hot in Cleveland. Oh, my oh God. Yes. You were, what did you do on that? Uh, actually, I played a gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> Again? This is a trend. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, did. I, played a, uh, I came, and my mom, it was like a story about my mom trying to introduce me to one of the women. And I was actually in love with the design, the guy designer, and had to come out. Oh my God, I was uh, in it. <laughs> no, you weren't. The designer, you no. were thinking about me. Uh, oh my oh God. I was thinking about you. Yes, a, thank yes, you, please, yes, thank yes. you. Is she was she not the best? Oh, I love her. God she, her when she died, uh, like we were out of the country when she, and it was we were heartbroken. I was gonna make her dress for the hundredth uh, birthday. Birthday. Oh, no. He made the most yeah. famous dress she for Betty White so with the blue kind. slit yeah. all the she, way I up. I remember wanting to uh, take a picture with her. I was so nervous to ask. And then... Did you? <laughs> of course. The assistant goes, oh, she'd be offended if you didn't. Wow. And there's like a line outside her dressing room. Oh, really? All these actors yeah. <laughs> are just waiting to take pictures with her. Wow. Every Wednesday, we used to call her. On the phone. 12. On a landline. And talk to her. Yeah. And every single time, she would wait for the phone call. Yeah. Pick up the phone and go, hi boys. Yeah. Oh, so like sad. it's. But she lived a long life. I she did. Oh, she's fantastic. She did, and she was. She lived an authentic, so beautiful. Yes. An authentic, true to herself yeah. life. Yeah. And she was still killing it. I know. Yeah. Like she was fantastic on the shows. Yeah. 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 I know. It's like she totally re rebirthed she after it. the Amazing. Snickers and. Because she yep. lived an authentic life. Yeah. yeah. She really did, and yeah. she loved Alan Ladd. The day when we went to the SAG Awards mm. and we were trying to pick out jewelry and we had options of this and that and everything else and she just wasn't connecting yeah. with them. And I said, Betty, which one would you want to put on? Yeah. She goes, that one. I go, that has sentimental meaning to you, doesn't it? She goes, that's my favorite one when my husband gave me. Oh. Yeah. I said, I don't give a shit if it doesn't matter. <laughs> Goddamn dress. <laughs> let's put it on and let's take him along with you love that and we went on the carpet and we went to the sag awards with her and we went to her house yeah and he was like doing her hair at the sag okay, awards so much fun. putting her all together yeah. and it was like two little girlfriends oh. having fun it was oh. just so cute I and it. i was so heartbroken cute. when they tore her house down last year they yeah. did oh yeah why they tore it someone yeah. bought it a developer and demolished Where the entire house brentwood, brentwood. Oh. you know tracy Tudor no westwood lived westwood and brentwood yeah she lived up the street oh, she grew yeah. up in front of betty white's house but she was yeah. like, if if anyone never Legendary. got to know yeah. or meet Betty White, like that, I am so blessed. I'm sure you're blessed. Like that to me was an icon that we got to meet and work with and be with and yeah. spend time That's with. Yeah, pinch yourself moments. Right, that mm -hmm. people can only just dream totally. about. Totally. Yeah. yeah. She's she was amazing. She was. Should yes. we do runway rundown? Okay, Pez, we're gonna do runway rundown. Okay. Runway rundown is what we call the good, the bad the ugly sometimes we'll talk about you we may talk about other people of what they're wearing why they're wearing what the hell are you thinking exactly <laughs> so we're gonna start with you know i love her i oh, i don't i don't think you worked she? with her though oh maybe you did she was on shameless Ooh. maybe you did shameless. work did you ever work with emmy rossum yeah of course oh she's great oh we love her we met her but i love emmy rossum we met her what event did we meet her at oh Angeline. Angeline. She was. She played, she Angeline. played Angeline. Oh, okay. And she was yeah. great. Yeah, she's she was fantastic. so sweet. Love Snow White. I love she Emmy. But what oh. the fuck was she wearing in this outfit at the Critics' Choice Awards? I'm sorry. I hate it. You know, I think she was trying. Well, Emmy, what? you need to call Paula too for a gown. Okay, explain it, Paul, for our listeners. She's um, wearing I'm a sheet dress it, with a little slit that has the sequins oh, in it. Stuff. She's she beautiful. <coughs> she's got a uh, great like complexion. I think it doesn't do doesn't justice work. for her. Very, I think she's got a great body. Picture. You know what? It's the proportions that the the proportions needed to be different. But so is that even the the sequence? It's is part what, of it. What I don't like. Yeah, I don't like the sequins. I think if there was either. no sequence, it was just or leg, if there was sequence, really but pretty. it was shorter, so you see more of the legs, so yeah. that you see the transition her of her nice body. Ooh, I, I can't believe I'm talking about oh, this. Oh, you <laughs> love about <laughs> shoes. Uh -huh. I'm a shoe whore. 
by the way. I like Jordan, but those are nice heels. Oh, look at the look at her toes. Now you you know what you would do with those. Would you suck on those toes? And she's my friend, so that's weird. Yeah, but <laughs> think of all the stuff she's done on the show. I mean, seriously, if I know anybody who's uninhibited, she's such a good actress. It's her. She is right. She's so talented. She rolls around. And she's, she's a hell of a director. Oh, she directs too. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. She's beautiful. Did she ever direct now. you? On no, the show? no. No. Okay. No, but she directed a number of episodes. Yeah, I know that. Wow. She seems like she knows what she wants. She'll walk in and get what she's looking for. I love her. We had such a good time together. No, I bet you did. Can you send me a little tape? <laughs> my, oh my favorite. God. Can I say my all-time favorite movie? With What's her your it of her? What? Phantom of the yeah. Opera. Oh, yeah. Phantom of yeah. the Opera. Most people's. Phantom. Yeah. She was. She blew me away in Phantom. And I didn't even know she could sing. sing. So talented. It's crazy. Didn't even know I that. I know. I know. Yeah. Don't you wish you were? Yes. I mean, I'm sorry. Wait, can you, you sing? Pass? No. Oh, uh, okay. You can't Wait, sing. You can't didn't dance? you just book I a theater show? Can rap. Um, oh, rap? What? No, I'm just joking. No, really? Can you? <laughs> uh, the, just a straight play, not no oh, music. Oh, so you don't sing? Oh, yeah. No, he doesn't no, no. do gay plays. He does No, no, play. no. I meant oh. like no musical. It's not a musical. Oh. Can you dance? In a club, but not like choreography. Oh. <laughs> How do you do theater and you can't it's sing or dance? I'm telling you, it's not a musical. It's not a musical. It's a oh. long story. I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. I can rap. Can you? No. Roses are red, violets are blue. God made me beautiful. What happened to you? <laughs> oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> oh my God! Snoop Dogg. God. <laughs> okay, so we that's all my, in agreement. That's my next career. All three of us hate what Emmy is wearing. I didn't in say hate. Outfit. He says I didn't like it. Oh, hate like is it. a strong. She's word. gonna be texting you, Pej. I know. Why are you telling me that? Right now, we're <laughs> on you good can terms. tell her I've got a designer for you, Emmy. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, 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 She'll yeah. remember. Yeah. Okay. Next one we're gonna do. Okay, we're doing you, Pez. Oh! <laughs> it's, it's, I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> it's going, it's going downhill now. Oh, no. Okay, I okay. He doesn't let me see the pictures first. No, I like that. This I think is from the old man premiere. Old man. The old man premiere. His new series. Oh, pay attention. It's I'm on Hulu, right? Is it on Hulu? I'm not it's supposed to talk FX about these shows. Hulu. FX and Hulu. Okay, but we can talk about it. I feel know. like this strike's going to be over. By yeah, so the old man, he can nod his head yes. Um, so this is Pej wearing, I don't know, what is he wearing? Explain. It looks like a safari khaki. Oh. You know what? I, I like it, but I feel like it needs to be. D- did you get it tailored to you or yes. not? That's Dolce. It's not tailored to you. <laughs> they tailored it. Well, you had to go in and tailor I, I it? In. Well, you did? Yes. Fire that seamstress. It's puckering around the seams <laughs> at the shoulder. That's not my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault, but I wouldn't be wearing it. I don't care if it's Dolce because their seamstresses know how to stitch. Well, they didn't do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, they did it. They exactly. Did? I went to the Dolce store. And they tailored Here. that. Did you go up to the street, VIP ups, section? That, you're damn right. Oh, well, my God. Well, those VIP bitches, I'm going to have a conversation. I like that you suit. Need that the suit sucker. is not, but I don't like the tailoring. The, the pants should have, not your crotch. Well, let me see the crotch. Hold the on, bulge is really big. Oh, I, I think that's, that's oh really I think that's okay. why you went. To the bulge is kind of big. Okay. Yeah, wow. <laughs> the Dane Hansen? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, you're like Jeff. You're to the left. So... <laughs> but you should have had the pants oh tailored God. in a little bit more. I mean, I, I just listened to them. You, yeah, well. What about the length of the pants? Can you see the length of the pants? I can't see no. the length of your. Oh. But your hair is clothed really nice. Your face, you look like Hugh Jackman a little bit. Oh but you know you. what you're missing? Don't you? What's that? A nice watch. Yes, you're right. You're missing. If you're I want wear that watch you're wearing. It, everyone does. If you're going to wear a suit, I'm you have to wear Sorry, a you're nice not getting watch. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's I messed his inherit- up. That's his inheritance after I go. That's <laughs> all I can afford. He's not getting anything else. I love watches. That's a Me too. Watch. I w- I'm a watch You know, whore. he's got a watch collection. I do. I love Rolex. Half yeah. of it has been stolen. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> but, but I was wearing this one, so they didn't steal this one. Good. Thank God. Don't take that Pedge, off. Because you're, you're a hot-looking man. Thank yeah. You. But I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, tell me. I love your honesty. You need things that fit you a little younger. You need to skew a little younger. Just make you look a little more dated. Okay. I love the concept of the suit. I'm not crazy about the color because it's got too much yellow because your skin has too much yellow, and this doesn't do justice. You need to wear more blue. Yeah, I want to see you wear a color that pops. More maybe even green. Green's good color. Or even if you're going to wear earth tones, 
more sandy mm. earth tones I because I think it's going to bring out your see he would hue. know it's going to bring <laughs> out the your cheek color it's going to give you see you look more bland here you would look These like designer you've got screwed me <laughs> I just said put on whatever yeah I, I would I'll I would do colors do you stay away from colors typically kind of yeah so really? do you yeah. do, do My you have this hates it. she's like you gotta wear colors what yeah, are you doing you do you need you need a little bit for I'm not creative in clothing your girlfriend doesn't like colors. she loves it she loves colors oh so the next thing you, you should wear some do colors. you still yeah. have the suit I do they you gave do. it to me well <laughs> they're gonna take it back <laughs> <laughs> why don't we do this why don't we switch it out for a different color let's do a blue I have uh, they gave me also a double breasted black one that was really nice Oh, black you could wear any time. Yeah, yeah, but I think that but you need to I need like you a need a color kind of pops. blue. Like a royal blue, a deep oh, blue, yeah. a navy blue, a midnight blue. There's so many gorgeous blues. Yeah. It'll bring out I really want them. I want a forest green. And you know your eyes? Mm. Green would look good. They're kind of they've got this little tint of honey. When you wear these colors, it's going to make it look more hazel and sweet. God, kind of I would never think of this. Yeah. That's why they hire me for the yeah, top dollar. That's yeah. why he's a designer. Yeah, you're right. So we are in agreement that we don't like this suit on you, Pez. Okay. Pez, you like this suit on you? Kind of. He did it. You did before you. (laughs) (laughs) I did before. You're You're like, I used to like the suit on me. (laughs) Oh, my God. It's a color. Okay. Okay. I love this. I have a third look. But it's it's crazy, right? A slight change of a hue will totally impact the entire image. Amazing. Just yeah. a little here. Never think about it. I think ever, that, ever. I know. I know. I teach the kids to see color yeah. different than the way normal people see color. Yep. I see color with the true essence and the brilliance that the color is mm. and how it translates onto different skin tones. Right. Where most people just see it as, eh, it's yellow, it's white, it's blue, it's tan. Yep. I know. Y- he's a designer. We never would have known. Amazing. <laughs> Okay, next one I've got Nicolette Sheridan. Oh, <laughs> mm-hmm. but did he work with her? No, you didn't did work not. with her, right? You no. didn't. But I'm sure he heard the rumors on Ooh. set. What's the rumor? <laughs> I got nothing. What's the rumor? I got nothing. Sh- Dynasty, she got fired. Why? They replaced her. They hated her so much. They changed. They they killed her. They, oh, they <coughs> thought they killed her. Changed her face and brought her back as someone else. Correct. That's what I heard. Yeah. Oh, that was Fallon's mother. I wasn't there. Oh, Fallon. That was Fallon's Elizabeth. mother. Nicola Sheridan. And I usually, and I do, I, I mean, I, w- I want your opinion on this, Paul. I love the color on her. I do. I really love She's the color. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. She's, from what I, I hear, like not the easiest to work with in Hollywood. But it's a beautiful color. But beautiful color. What see, tell us the draft, See Paul. the red that's, this red yeah. is a, uh, it's a tinge of orange. It doesn't have blue. Mm. Now, if sh- this was a blue red, it would have made her look so much more regal. Yeah, and this makes her look how? Uh, this makes her look standard. Standard. Yeah. The red is popping, yes. The red is gorgeous, yes. They match the lipstick to it, mm. yes. But she needed a blue red because her skin tone would look so much better with the little blue because the blue red has a resonance of Bordeaux. So when it when the w- you shoot it or when underneath the light or with your pale complexion, it would really glow differently than this one does. W- what about the actual dress itself? Well, the dress itself is very um, 1975. I was just gonna say 1975. And I think, <laughs> and I think the image, <laughs> the hairstyle, and everything is very 1975. Is this a recent picture? I it think so. It, it, well, maybe yeah. I mean, it's pretty. I recent. think they made it look like what. Is perceived of what yeah. Dynasty. Oh, this was on Dynasty. Yeah, I think so on Dynasty. Oh, man. Before she Elaine's um, outfit. <laughs> gorgeous. I think that's she was what it so is. So stunning. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. Because you know you've got the velveteen couch. The oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> you that's see what, what I mean? Is. Oh my god, I didn't even recognize. So it's reminiscent of all of that's that funny. because the hairstyle and everything else. Yeah. But she looks beautiful. She's yeah, she's stunning. stunning beautiful. She is beautiful. Oh she's a beautiful. So what if she's a bitch? She, she earned the title. Yeah, they Listen, I've that. earned the title, capital B-I-T-C-A. That is Call true. Call me all day. That no, is true. You di- that's totally different. 
I don't know about her. I'm just saying in general, if you tre- treat people right. We've never met. Being her. a b- uh, no. Yeah, we've never met. No, right. treat people badly. No. Okay then. No. Not no. unless they're That's in the bedroom. Say. No, and but, they're but cash. <laughs> no, but a lot of people have said she's very difficult. That to I, work didn't, with. I didn't. I didn't. work with. A her. lot I of people just, have said that. I'm just how saying in it general. With the new Alexa. She's like one of my dearest friends. Yeah. I love her so much. You she's have beautiful. so many great friends. I hope so. How <laughs> sweet. Yeah. How sweet. Yeah. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I what a so. beautiful community that you It is. In. You know, sh- especially Elaine, wh- who you're talking about, is yeah. such an amazing person. We hit it off right away, which helped us have chemistry on the show. I right, guess. because you had an affair, right? Yeah. You were we started, no, no, she was single, I think, when I met her on the show. And then I think the character was single. And then we just fell in love and yeah. got married and the whole thing. Nice. It was fun. I love that show, man. I had a, f- it's a good time on it's that It's over, show. right? Is it, it over? canceled, yeah. It was good. It was a good. You know what? There's not many good reboots, but I thought yeah, that was people a loved good it. reboot. It was like the number three show on Netflix yeah. throughout the, the world or something. I yeah, it was I pretty I good. I Huge. I just think the whole idea of a dynasty is so good. I mean, I just remember when I was a kid, my parents and my family would watch it. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember getting the role, and, and I didn't know anything about it. Really? And I remember my brother going, you're playing Dex Dexter? <laughs> I'm like, how the hell did you know? Right. He goes, that's the guy from the 80s. I'm yeah. like, oh, I didn't know. I had no idea. Michael Nader. You Michael had to like Nader, step God into Michael Nader's yeah. shoes. How was that? I mean, I didn't know Yeah. until I did. And then I was like, uh-oh, I better not screw this up. So I'm curious. When you when you find out you're getting the role of Dex Dexter, do you then go and watch the original Dex no, Dexter? No, I didn't. You don't? I, di- I didn't do that. You didn't? Okay. No. I just figured you're gonna they make cast me that. for what I brought to the table, and if they right. have, so I don't want to copy him. Sure, sure. Yeah. He couldn't even play his own nationality. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't even let him play somebody from Iran. <laughs> oh my God! Should we do a game? Oh my God! We're gonna do I a love game. The games. We're gonna play a game. Okay. Right. Don't you love a game? I do. This or that. Okay. We're gonna ask you a few questions. Okay. We want to get your opinions. You have them too, babe. I do. Well, you should. No. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. Wrong card. Wrong card. Jesus. Oh. And we want to get your opinion as to why you would pick the one you picked. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. All right. Do you want to go first? Yes, I know. I know Hold on. Who wrote these questions? Our producer. I know it's (laughs) the All right. Go ahead. Taco Bell or McDonald's? Taco Bell. Really? Oh, yeah. Taco hell all day. Mexican pizza all day. Uh. Mmm. Don't you love their sauces? Love. Why uh, can't they put those sauces on the market? They are. I They're on the market. Where? You can buy it at Ralph's. No way. Yes. Uh, Nobody Taco told Bell hot me. Sauce, yes. Instead, my husband goes into the drive-thru and says, give me a bag of sauces. No, you know, <laughs> I think Amazon, too, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> oh, oh, my pretty God. Sure. Yeah. Good Mild is my now. favorite. Okay. Mm. I got one. This is for you. Okay. Boxers or briefs? <gasps> Boxer briefs. Boxer oh. briefs. Combination of both. Always. Okay. Why? It's comfortable. He likes to hang to the left. <laughs> yeah, and it keeps it in place, but it doesn't also <laughs> look like a Speedo. Mm. Okay. Oh. So if you're going to go on a hot date, mm-hmm. do you wear a colored one or do you wear a white one? Colored. <gasps> oh. What color? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a various number of different colors. I don't know. Like <laughs> well, it's like when, when girls... Because I like it to pop. Blue. I'm just joking. You like <laughs> it to that. pop. Would no, you like your I, just, I just wear different, like Nike underwear, <laughs> really, to be honest with you. <laughs> no color. When you're no, there's like styles on okay. it. But well, what if you're going to go on Red. Like red. when you're going to go on a hot Black. date and you're going to take your pants off. I Black. Mean, don't you? Red. Black. Really? Red. Mm. Would you prefer your girlfriend in boxer briefs? Mm. Like like little briefs, yeah, like yeah panties. Uh-huh. Like bikini or like bikini briefs or like bikini boxers. Well, depending on the day of the week. Bikini boxers. What yeah, is like that? the little like uh, like boy shorts. Like boy yeah, shorts. like boy shorts. Oh, I love a thong. Oh, oh okay. Well. <laughs> She's stunning, so I like to see. Okay. Yeah, to see it. Men are very visual. I've learned. I'm that. very visual. Really? Yeah. Okay. yeah. But also okay. love a boy short look too. That's hot. Okay. Your it's all pick. coming off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, it's all coming. Are you a, a foreplay kind of yes. guy? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Love making out. Okay. I love it. He can probably go a couple of hours of making out and. It's know. true. Yeah. I love making out. I do too. It's a I lost art. I yeah, think. I, too. I think the intimacy. I is think so much. Porn has ruined intimacy. You're mm. doing porn now too? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I think the access of so much porn. Oh. Has yeah. ruined 
in intimacy a little bit. I think I think so. For I the think youth, at least. Yeah. I think the internet or the the stuff that we have now is ruined it because it's you want something, the gratification of knowing that you could just go everything all the way through, mm -hmm. and the speed that yeah. we do that in is what's difficult. Yeah, it's like because it's nobody has the patience anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody wants to sit through anything. You don't. Need, uh, nobody wants to sit through an hour and a half of a movie. That's yeah. true. I like you're right. Want a journey. So true. Yeah. They want to be on TikTok where it's five seconds, three seconds, yeah, two seconds, and it's a whole different story. It's crazy. Know. Yours, babe. Tattoos or piercings? Tattoos. Do you have tattoos? I don't. You don't? Mm -mm. What if your What if your girlfriend wanted a tattoo? Go ahead. Where would you, Where would you have her yeah. put it? Where should she put it? Ooh, would that's you? a good question. <laughs> what if What if she says, "I want it here"? Would you oppose to it? I or want the Taliban, whatever she wants. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like it like on the hip. Ooh, that's, that's kind of sexy. Yeah, that's sexy. Okay. Yeah. And every time you. Or, oh, you know what I saw recently? Um, I think this is kind of hot, like on the on the wrist too. Oh. I don't mind okay. that. On the wrist, no, Paul, you're not getting a tattoo on the wrist. <laughs> oh, you want a tattoo? He she wants a tattoo, and I don't want him to get one. So you're the Taliban. Oh my God! Yes, he is. I am German. Where do you want to get it? I, I just thought if I get a little tattoo here. That's cute. Or somewhere here. Like something where it's you like should. a little, like a mannequin. Like I think if he's going to get a like tattoo, a it should be a tramp form. stamp. On his back? Yeah. Maybe no, that's I'm so never going to see it. <laughs> that's so tacky. But if I'm not going to see it, how am I supposed I to enjoy it? I agree with you. You don't it. need to see it. <laughs> yeah, wrist. That's a good one. Get your wrist. I want to get like Or your a bicep. Little yeah, oh. like a little mannequin. Would you, like where a would you get a tattoo? That's where I would get it. On the bicep? Because I want to show it to you. I like, what do you do for a living? Oh, look. Oh, on the outside? No, I mean designer. underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like a dress tricep designer. Bicep. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah. want my dad's name on my arm. Oh, that would be nice. In Farsi. I just That'd want nice. a Do you speak Farsi? I do. Oh. Really good. Merci. Rashenge. Merci. Oh. <laughs> and then... La, 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 oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that always scares the shit out of me when we do that. I'm like, guys, stop it. Oh, my God. Point. Okay, I got one. Dynasty or Bones? Oh. oh. Bones. Yes? Bones changed my life. Yeah. Okay. That was it. Yeah. I was uh, working as a extended car warranty salesman before I got that job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Extended car warranty. Uh, you know the people that call you on the phone. Oh. Hey, your car warranty. I used to sell vitamins on the phone. Oh. I was a great vitamin seller. I was awful because I was so honest. Yeah. That we go like. I'm like you don't. They need go it. like, is this covered? No. <laughs> is that covered? No. Oh, I don't want it. Shit, I get it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank terrible. God you got bones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do the next one, babe. Camping or glamping? Oh, glamping. Oh. If that. Ugh, camping. I need the movie star status oh. on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glamping. I'm not sitting on the floor. Yeah, we you know, we've we interviewed. I'm way too bougie for that. You, we've <laughs> interviewed uh, actresses that have stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes. Glamping. Yeah. Absolutely glamping. I don't want to sit on sleep on the floor. No, who does? No, thank you. Shit, no. If I can help it. I mean. Oh, stop it. Okay, one last one. Coachella or Burning oh, Man? Yeah. Coachella. Have you been? Yes. It's amazing, right? It's amazing if you go glamping. <laughs> like, you get a house. <laughs> you're in the VIP. Well, I'm not sitting in the tent. <laughs> why don't you get one of those Matthew McConaughey trailers? No, no. We always rent a house across the street. Oh, he rents mm. a house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but Burning Man, there's no showers, right? Have you been to Burning Man? No, I I've never to. been. I'm like no desire, no desire to go. Who smells the showers? There's shower? no music. I know. I mean, like famous music. Is it's there? just there's popping no drugs and. I, I mean, look, whatever. no judgment. Maybe I would have a blast, but it doesn't sound appealing. Would you? Remember? You know why? It doesn't sound appealing to get there. <laughs> right. Like unless you can helicopter me in and <laughs> out. <laughs> right. Oh I'm not God. driving he is a 12 bougie hours. Bitch. Oh, my God. He's so bougie. <laughs> yeah, he's bougier than us. Oh. Jesus. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah. Definitely not. No, nobody's bougier than <laughs> us. No <laughs> way. We're not bougie. Am I bougie? No, he is. <laughs> you know it. I take three-minute showers, and I look this good. Yeah. N last question. Yeah. Besides yourself, who are your favorite Jeff Lewis live after show guests? After show host, guests? The host. Who are your favorite? Oh, Carney. Sorry. Oh, my God. I love me? Carney. I love Carney. Yeah, I love Carney. We haven't done it together yet. But fuck, you didn't the say after us. Show. I know. I can't lie. Oh my god, are we at least second? Yeah, you're second. Ugh. And third. Okay. Who's oh, we second are, oh, and who's second? Second. Oh, because two of us. Yay. Oh my god. 
Carney's fun. She's you, the did best. you host with her? No, you haven't. Yeah, hosted. you did. did. Yeah, How yeah. was that? It was amazing. Yeah, that pretty was pretty awesome. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it next week with her. Are you? She's great. She's so funny. Yeah, she's and lovely and but sweet. But see, she's authentic. That's why it's yeah. interesting. Yeah. He read she her cup, blew her away. She told me. <laughs> she freaked me the fuck out. Actually. Wait till we read yours. I'm a little nervous, to be honest. You should be. Oh my God! I think we're gonna read your Armenian coffee cup glass. You know, it's all how it started. Because I've been doing coffee cups. Oh, Jeff Lewis. No, no, no. No, he's been doing it for twenty something years. So long. Yeah. But you know, when you go to to like our houses, our families, you you do dinners and then you do desserts and right. they, they bring out the coffee. Right. Yeah. We don't do American coffee, like right. especially <laughs> when there's a couple of Armenians around. Right, right, Who right. does American coffee? Yep. Yeah. They're like, that's not going to do anything for you. <laughs> that's not going to do anything Let me see, for Paul. You. Let me see. So they do this. Now, if you send somebody home with this coffee, you give them the key and the driver's license and everything else because right. you know they're per right, pumped up. Right, right. Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh. They're pumped up, right? Are you nervous, Pat? I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got these glasses. <laughs> oh, oh, my know, right? God. Paul is looking into his cup. Wow, Pez. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something, and I don't want you to be mad at me for anything I'm going to about to That's say. Fine. Oh, no. That's fine. You live alone. Yeah. All the challenges that you've had building up what you've built, you're confused and you're completely out of sync there's a tier that you got to because everything is perfect you have everything you've always asked for wanted needed or even was a part of now you've embarked on a journey that you're so confused you're turned around and you don't even know which direction to head because you're completely lost. Wow. I don't know if you have any <coughs> neighbors, but you have a friend. This one friend that you've known for a very, very long time, you haven't listened to. He has mentioned certain things to you to say, oh, Pej, maybe that's not such a good idea. Oh, Pej, you know, let, let's do this. And you're like, nah, no, bro. No, <laughs> I got this. You're not paying attention. You have to listen to this guy, whoever this man is. And this is inside your house. I don't know if maybe it could be a brother or a very intimate relative friend. Mm -hmm. Do you think you know who he's talking a about? a little more mature. I see your, your expression that you know what he's saying. That you're <laughs> just, you know, I don't know why you're fighting this guy. <laughs> because you've listened to him before and everything that he said or when you acted on the things that you learned or the advice that you received seem to have worked out. Now you're just, eh, fuck it. Don't worry about <laughs> it. I, I'm, I'm good. Hmm. Who is it? I mean, the only thing I can think of is my neighbor uh -huh. who is a good friend of mine. <laughs> uh -huh. And I said, I don't know if you have neighbors or not. Uh, I've known for years. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, has given me advice. Uh huh. That I I heeded, but maybe doubted a little bit, and I'm still not accepting that what he's. It's not advice. It's more of like, trust me, you're gonna be good, kind of thing, and yeah. you don't need to worry. Yeah, that's what he's always said, but in a way that's been like more than anybody else. So that's the only thing I can think of. Interesting. You have somebody else that you're listening to now. Hmm. And I'm going to tell you, mm -hmm. this person mm -hmm. is a snake. Oh. Here's your snake right there. <gasps> Do you see this right here? Yeah. Who may that snake. be? It's a girl. And it's almost as if hmm. she's telling you what you want to hear. Mm-hmm. But she knows. 
not really what you should be doing. Mm -hmm. She's feeding you what you want to know, but she knows that is not the path for you. Not his girlfriend. No. This oh, is, God, no. She doesn't okay. tell me what I want to know. Trust <laughs> me. <This is> the <laughs> that woman is so <laughs> honest, it's crazy. This is the inside of the cup. Okay. Oh, so whoever outside. this girl is. I don't know who that would be. Yeah. I'm going to have to. Yeah. There's somebody that you confide in in a different way that you don't even think that maybe you're confiding in. She's not an intimate relationship. Mm. She's just a person you know maybe. that it's not you intimate. Know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you go hang out, yeah, you're yeah, drinking yeah. coffee, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. venting. Yeah. Yeah. Who is she? I'm not going to say. <laughs> but you know who it is. Yeah. Don't listen uh, to her. Yeah. She's the last person you need it's to It's funny. Be. I always had that <laughs> intuition with this person. Well, now you Don't listen <laughs> to her. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> she is a nice person. Yeah. She's a great human, but she's not helping you find what you're looking for. Hmm. She's wow. not helping That's interesting. you get to the next destination that you're in the journey of. Interesting. She's just making sure she's available to tell you what you want to hear. And she knows it's fucking wrong that she's doing it anyway. That's not a good sign. Okay. That is not a good sign. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's her name? I won't say. You can't say it on the air. <laughs> okay. What's her initial? S. What's her l last name initial? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Because she's not a close friend of mine. Hmm. But it's someone like you're saying, like, yeah, we would, I would say, non I wouldn't even ask for advice, but like. No, but you're com but like conversing. You yeah, you converse. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, I thought I was looking at someone close to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. Show it. Show it. You said the initial. I did. I asked you for a yeah. reason. Yeah. I don't know her. Right. You know why I asked for the initial? No. Look at your cup. Whoa. It's an S. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. That's the only reason why I asked what you for the initial. What the fuck? I wouldn't, have asked you, I wouldn't have asked you what the initial is if I didn't see it and I didn't want to just say it. It's an S in the cup. Do you see That's that? crazy. Yeah, and I you see saw it. where I showed you the snake. Oh, do you see the last name? I don't know what it is. I'm just curious. I'm gonna, I should go home and check. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take a picture of this when you oh, call okay, me. Great. I'll oh, show you that too. Holy shit! By God, that's crazy. But you see that, and I showed you where the snake. Yeah, is. yeah, yeah. Whoa, and it's so true, actually. Oh. <gasps> I do believe that, actually. Um, luckily, she's not like super close to me. Right, no, I but, but oh I, my God, yeah, that's crazy. Now. I'm telling some good shit. <laughs> I am telling you no, good shit. Joking. She's a fucking snake. I'm just joking. Get rid of that bitch. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, you said she was nice. Oh, she's a nice. She don't listen to her. Quite nice. No, she's a nice. Just person. don't listen she's to her. I will. I wasn't Damn. planning on it. Good. Now, <laughs> on the outside, I'm blown away. <laughs> you have something that you're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. You've set a goal for yourself, mm -hmm. and I think this goal has been something that you probably have try to attain on several different occasions and you always thought oh well if i change this then i'll get that mm -hmm. if i do this then i'll achieve that if i don't have this then i can get there right but unfortunately none of that seems to be true okay. you know why why because everything that you establish that you have that you ha and here's the bar for it do you see remember i told you that there was, you were at your plateau. Mm -hmm. you wow. Were, you were at a place where you had everything you wanted, everything you needed, everything in the place where it makes you happy, like mm -hmm. you're fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Yes, you could do more. Yes, you could get more jobs. Yes, you could go out more. You could, so many things, right? But you felt accomplished in so many different levels. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly you're like, fuck it. I'm going <laughs> to go after that. Right. Mm -hmm. That's wow. when you started getting confused and lost. You don't realize that the goal that you set for yourself in trying to get there is not the way to proceed 
because you already had it. And all you had to do was take touch. Does that make sense to you? All you had to do was just take a deep breath, go, <sighs> this is life. Now, let's go after that thing. And that thing, the anxiety you created, the butterflies that you have, the putting yourself in an uncomfortable scenario, the chasing of what you think is supposed to be what could resonate in your life moving forward, it's not that. And from what I see, now this is the outside, right? Wow. All of these what? tears are all the things that you're doing. You're going on road trips. You're like you're trying everything and anything as if I'm gonna go there. It's gonna this is it because this is the one. Now I'm gonna do this and mm -hmm. this is the one. But you, it's not mm -hmm. because right here it tells me that you are at such a place where the harmony in your life. You basically you pulled the rug from underneath yourself and you said I'm gonna sink or swim, and I'm like, who does that? You were already in the deep end, floating. Wow. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Don't listen to S. Don't listen to <laughs> S. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bird. I'm going to show you the bird, too. That's a message. Generally, when there's a bird, a dove, like it depends on what kind of form they take. But there's a bird that you're going to be getting a message. This message Interesting. is not an ultimatum, but it's sort of, um, I always like to translate from Armenian because there's so many beautiful, colorful mm -hmm. words that I try to find in English and sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, it's not an ultimatum, but it's almost as if here's um, the message uh, as an example, hello, mm -hmm. knocking on your door, mm -hmm. like, uh, where are you at? And you're not paying attention to the message. You're not hearing the message. You're not listening to what the message is. You're not acknowledging that the statement, the line, you know when you're delivering uh, the script, mm -hmm. And there's certain the lines. Li yeah, the lines in the script, and some of those lines are like very powerful, and you have to do it with a lot of passion. Mm -hmm. And and maybe that's like the period at the end where it just makes such an impact. Yes. Well, that message has come. Wow. That message has rang on your door, and you're not listening. The impact and the period's there. If you don't listen to this message, to what has been from the universe come to you, this bird has sent it. You're going to lose a lot more than anything that you feel that you're feeling lost in, inside. It's not a job thing. It's not a, um, it's not like a role thing. It's not a friend thing. It's not that. It's losing a little bit of yourself. Mm. That's what it is. Because whatever you're in search of, you already have. Oh, that's interesting. It's already there. It's wow. inside you. Mm -hmm. But you're wow. just choosing to block that and look out the other window. Hmm. And you're like, just roll this window down. Like, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> it's right next to you. It's like, you know how those people, like, they want to scratch their head, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to yeah. go like this? Like, they, they want to yeah. go like yeah, yeah. That's, that's what funny. you're trying to do. And it's like, why? Wow. Now, this bird. Paul is showing Tej a bird inside the cup for those of you that are listening yeah. and not watching. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like the wings are flapping. Yeah. Birds don't make a lot of noise. Yeah. But they have a presence. They have uh, like you know how they bring like the olive branch and they make a little nest and stuff like that? Yeah. So this bird's already sang. This bird's already spoken. The message you know, like they like a dove, they've they got the message on yeah, yeah. like tied up. Yeah. yeah. And they're at your front door. Yeah. They're like brrr. Wow. And you're like, why is the fucking bird here? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Right. It's like you're not listening. I love it. Now, what I want you to do 
don't listen to that voice again. What I want you to do, and why aren't you listening to the guy? Um, I'm listening to him, but it's hard to believe sometimes. Hmm. Well, we're going to change that now. Yeah. You're going to take your thumb. Not yet. I'm going to take a picture of the inside of his oh. cup first. Yeah. You see, this is cool. Mm. You saw the bird, too. Yeah. And you see that little thing at the very top? Yeah. That's the message. What the hell? Look. <laughs> <laughs> this right here. This right here. Yeah. Wow. That's the message. You see the other bird that's holding it right yeah. there? And these are the birds. You know how many times this message has come through the front door? Mm -hmm. Because wow. so many messages, it's the same repeated message, it seems like. Like, it's just, like, the message is yeah. in various forms, <laughs> in different ways. But it's nevertheless the same kind of context message. This is my favorite part, though, what he does. Yeah, now. what you're going to do is you're going to hold yep. it up however you want. Okay. You're going to take your thumb, whichever thumb you want. Okay. You're going to push press down, push, and pull out really hard. Can I do it now? Hmm? What do you see, love? What's your sign? Aries. That's the one with the horns? I don't know. Yeah, no. it's a ram. No. Yeah. Aries is a ram? I don't know. Yeah, oh, it know. is. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. With the... Yeah, I think it's okay. Oh. That's Eileen and Aries? Eileen's yeah. an Aries. Yeah. Jeff Lewis. Oh, my best friend. Is an Aries. Yeah. Yeah. Every single one of my very, really? very best friends. I'm yeah. Cancer. Capricorn and Aries are like... If I wasn't a Capricorn, I would want to be an Aries. Oh, okay. How do I explain this part? You are, you want to swim. You want to be free. You look at this. It's a whale. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that crazy? That's crazy. <laughs> Let me see. It's a really clear whale. Yeah. It's like, Let me it's see. exactly what you would think. That's why I asked you what sign are you? Because what who do you know that a fish sign? A water sign. A water sign like uh, Pisces or Aquarius. Oh, what's November? Or 14th? Oh my Sagittarius. God, that's a water. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, all you do is think about this. This is like the water sign, being in the water, being surrounded, and the only thing I can think of because you're sprouting water. Wait, what's the girlfriend sign? Oh. Because you're spouting water, that's the happiest you oh. are. You know when they come up for air, mm -hmm. they get their oxygen and then they dive back mm -hmm. in. Wow. And then when they see you, they flap their little tail because the tail's up. Yeah. Wow. And then when they, like, you know, come up and then they go, yeah. you know, yeah. that's the happiest that they are. Right. And you are the happiest with the water sign. This is you being happy. Mm. Do you see what happiness Which is? means you are going to be with the whale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do you understand? Yeah. But it's like a clear... She's your person, right? Oh, yeah. She's a clear oh, whale. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, this is... Wow. Okay, so are you going to go see her? She's coming. She's coming. I am. I'm going to see her in two weeks. And that's what this is. That's why I asked. See where the whale is? Yeah. See the road? You remember I said you have a lot of trips and stuff? Yeah. And see how I said this is the messages? Yeah. You erase the dove, the bird, okay. which means the whale is going to deliver you her personal message at this point. So all these messages that were coming is from her. This is amazing. I mean, do you understand? I do. Because wow. I showed it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bitch is still there, dear. <laughs> 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 I thought you'd get rid of that one. <laughs> but do you see what I'm trying to explain? Wow. Yeah. The, the mouth, the face, and the road. And I told you where the message was. And I told you where the birds are, right? Yeah. And look what you did to the bird. Do you see how you cleaned the bird? So wow. that's her coming with the message. That's why I asked, yeah, are yeah, you going to yeah, go to see crazy. her? Because I was like, 
well, either you're going or she's coming. Like there's something happening or because meeting. the yeah. the road is right there. Yeah, connected to the message. That's crazy. So you said you wanted Paul to read your cup. Oh yeah. Crazy, right? What do you think now? <laughs> what do you mean? After getting your cup read. I mean, that's creepy. <laughs> Well, it shouldn't be creepy. <laughs> it's interesting. There's a number of things like the num like in the last couple of years, I'd say what you said is like, just be still. Yeah. That's what I learned in the last couple of years from my career. Yeah. Because before I'd be like, I got to do this. I got to do that. Bah, yeah. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. But then it, I through a bunch of things. I just was like, whoa, chill the fuck out. Yeah. Take a step It's going to be fine. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. And that was my listen neighbors. Listen to that friend. That friend. But he was saying things like that were unbelievable to me. Mm. But they're not. But they're not because all those things started to happen. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. That's very interesting. And I don't even know the guy. No, no, no. And the fact that he, A, he's my neighbor. I've known him for a long time, like before I moved there. Wow. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, my God. Pej, before we go, yes. can you tell our audience where they can find you? Oh, uh, at Pejvedat at Instagram on Instagram. Mm. That's it. And you're hosting oh. the after. Sh I'm doing the Jeff Lewis after show. That's a big gig, my friend. Those paychecks. We're Filter Friday, so Huge. be sure to listen to Filter I Friday. Buy a pair of Jordan. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fun. Oh my God! So I'm so, so happy I got to read. Thank cup. you so much for doing that. So Pej, you've just been undressed by Paul and Patrick. How do you feel? Naked. <laughs> He's never had a better time. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was up and this down, to be honest. This was your foreplay, baby. <laughs> this was your foreplay. I need a drink. Amazing. Thanks for joining us for another fun episode of Undress, everybody. We'll see you next time with Bye. another gorgeous, gorgeous guest. Bye, bitches. This podcast is brought to you by Herdat Media and American Media Television. Executive producers are Patrick Simpson, Paula Tu, and Pat Safford. Produced by Jordan Hill and Sarah Silicula. Shooting and editing by Jordan Hill. Music by Digital Camo. Artwork by Dominique Demetz. And hosted by Pola2, Patrick Simpson, and Little Snow White 90210. Remember to follow at Pola2 and at Patrick Simpson and at Snow White 90210 and watch Gown and Out in Beverly Hills on Prime Video. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode.